a marvellous afternoon once again at the Sydney Football Stadium. A very good crowd here, high expectations. Riolo is still at the fullback position. Wishart and McIndoe the wings. Rodwell, McGregor the centres. Simon Neal the halves. Cross at the back of the scrum. Pincinelli Dunn second row. Teitzel, Waddell front row. And Schifoletti leads the side in the number nine jump. Potter at fullback. Walford and Heron wings. Coyne, Beattie centres. Peter Coyne at 5'8". Goldthorpe, the run on number seven. Hardy at lock. Goulet, Bunhill second. Tierney and Priddle up in the front row. And Collins is the hooker. <laughs> Illawarra then running from left to right. And John Simon gets this sudden death final underway. Potter it is getting the first touch. Beating the tackle of Waddell. And he's pulled down and tackled up there by Teitzel. I'm looking forward to see who gets the best start here, of course, when they met in that minor semi-final. St George got away courtesy of a Wayne Collins charge down kick to score the first points. Illawarra started like a house on fire last week against Brisbane. Came back to the field after 20 minutes. This first 20, very important. Very good defence by the Steelers there on Tierney. Collins with a short ball. Priddle crosses the 22, beats the first line of defence and reaches 32. Collins away for Goldthorpe. Now to Peter Coyne onto the right boot. Ball bouncing down towards the quarterway line. Riolo picked up and driven back there by Goldthorpe. Neil a dummy half. Wishart folding in from his wing. Plenty of sting in the opening tackles. Waddell. Hard yards made by the front row forward. There's a lot of sting in the tackles, but you've got to make sure that your enthusiasm doesn't override your technique. We've seen both Tytel and Waddell come up with missed tackles because they've tried to take the man out. You've really just got to wrap the ball up, especially in these early periods. You don't want to concede early points. Now it's Tytel. Midway between 22 and halfway. Five tackles gone against the Illawarra Steelers as they look for the boot now of John Cross. Little question mark on the tackle, was it late? McCallum takes a look at both touch judges to see that they felt that it was OK. Well, I thought he was hit late. John Cross, he makes the kick and Beatty came flying in like Superman and dead set knocked him down. Defence so far so good for Illawarra. Now Goulet injects himself into the blind side. Goldthorpe feigns to kick wider for Peter Coyne. But Illawarra tackling like men inspired at the moment on their own 22 line. Goldthorpe chancing the bomb. First use of the high ball. It came off the fingers of Priddle, I thought. Goulet puts it down. But referee McCallum goes back to the original breach that I called. It came, I thought, off the fingertips of Priddle. Well, they were very fortunate, Illawarra. Nobody contested the football. They all thought somebody... Look at this. The ball just bounces free. If Priddle had caught that one on the full, he didn't nearly scored. Eventually, Riolo tried to bat it out over the back, but nobody went up for the football. Nobody looked at the football for the Steelers. As he touched that ball or not, I don't think he did. Saints dealing out all the pressure at the moment. This is the last tackle. They put it through the hands. Coyne finds Goulet. Then to Coyne. It goes to ground. Nakando had a chance there for the Steelers. No score after 22. Wide as Tierney, Potter now. Collins, St George building enormous pressure. Mackay, Collins, scampers from dummy half. Hardy away for Walford. Walford puts it down for a four-pointer. First points of the preliminary final. Go to the Dragons. And deservedly so. They've been maintaining a lot of pressure down there. Illawarra had been able to hold them out for many minutes now. But it was a quick play of the ball and well-read in attack there from the dummy half. He scooted out. Saw that he had a three-on-two overlap. There's Wayne Collins. He just takes advantage of that. Gives it to Hardy. He draws McIndoe and a very simple one to Ricky Walford. That's been coming for a while. That's what he's got. There it goes. Doesn't look too bad. Grazes the outside edge of the upright. No change in score. St George 4, Illawarra 0. Priddle playing a 
on the halfway mark. Heron pulled down by Dunn and Wishart came in on a kamikaze mission. Goldthor. Peter Coy. Goulet out wide. Then slides the pass to Hardy. He does well too. Potter to play it. Goulet. Goldthor. Goes for the drop goal, but it'll be a mile wide and short. Riolo comes back. Plenty of confidence in the St George performance. Michael Neal. Well, they're running hard, these St George forwards, but showing a lot of skill as well. Many, many offloads by players like Hardy and Goulet and Teeny. And uh, with the, the quick men in support, Potter and uh, Peter Coyne, Mark Coyne, they're looking very dangerous, uh, St George. They did set up some kind of authority in the middle of the ruck early on, Paul, and now they're taking advantage on the fringe of the rucks. McGregor out wide. You can almost see the St George defence take on an air of urgency when the ball reaches the Illawarra centres. They haven't really given McGregor and Rodwell too many opportunities. Here's Illawarra coughing up possession. St George, I believe, will have it. They have. It was a turnover anyway. Goldthorpe, 25 metres out from the line. And a big minute and a half coming up. They'll have the last set of six in this first 40 minutes. Peter Coyne, Tierney, straight at them. Just inside the 22. Collins, Goldthorpe, Coyne. Coyne has the ball jolted from his grasp. Neil dives on it for the Steelers. Smart ball player, Peter Coyne, but he out-tricked himself then, out-tricked everyone, threw, threw a million dummies and then just lost the pill. Well, here it is again. He did, in fact, try to get it away to Goulet, but he waited to throw the ball until he was under pressure. He needn't have waited that long. The defence line was up on him anyway. Schifoletti. Just one minute of time remaining in the first half. McIndoe. These Illawarra wingers are probably going to have to do more work than uh, they have done, particularly McIndoe. The forwards are probably feeling the, the strain and the pressure of the defence that uh, has been asked of them. Potter's had a splendid game for St George. Heron. Just outside his own 22 line. This should be the last set of six before half time. Walford put down 32 metres out. Collins. Brad Mackay. Saints quite happy just to play out this last couple of seconds. The siren in the background, and Riolo lets it go over the side. So that's the end of the first 40 minutes. Most entertaining first half. St George, they scored the only points. A try for Ricky Walford after the Dragons had built enormous pressure on Illawarra. And at the break, St George lead by four points to nil. And just looking at the hit-up situation, Neil Tierney, we've talked about him, what a, what a great first half. He had 10 hit-ups in the first half, a big effort. So Peter Coyne starts the second half. Craig Izzard, the first of the Illawarra players, called on to bring it back. And they'll be looking to get more space for Rodwell and McGregor and the wingers in the second half. And talking of uh, that... What did the coaches have coming into it? Steve Roach. Well, in the Illawarra room, there's only one change. Uh, Craig Teachel has come back on for Billy Dunn. Uh, Graham Murray wanted uh, his players to make sure he puts the St George forwards on the ground and try and lay them on their back so they get a bit more time to get in defence. Also, he'd like to see his players support the ball carrier a bit more. Uh, he was a bit unhappy with their kicking game and the slowness of the play the ball. But in the St George room, uh, he was very happy, Brian Smith, with their, with their kicking game. He also would like to see more, more pressure put on David Riolo and more support for the ball carrier and quick play the balls. Michael Potter now. 
This is Mark Coyne coming away from dummy half. Shrugging off the first, but John Cross wraps him up. About 15 metres on his own side of halfway. Triddle. Illawarra in their first preliminary final. St George. They've won 15 grand finals. Collins. Not too far short of St George's best in the first half. Goldthorpe. Peter Coy. Off the left foot. Charged down by Illawarra. Picked up by Heron. Five metres into Illawarra's area. Well, that's been ruled a six again for the St George team. So they've started the second half particularly well. They've had all the possession once again in this opening two minutes. And with another four tackles left to go, they'll be able to put up a kick or have a good shot at this Illawarra team very early in the second half. Tierney plays it. Collins for Goldthorpe. Now Pritton. Nothing happening there for St George at the moment. They have worked it back towards the centre of the ground. Now from the open side to the blind goes Mackay. 22 metres out, five tackles gone. Goldthorpe decides to push it. Wider to coin, he puts it in the air. They try out Riolo, oh, he lost it, it came back to him off the posts. Well, another great take from David Riolo in the end, but have a look at this one. The post was a real menace there. First it was his enemy, then it was his friend. It was the only reason the ball came back into his hands. Neil working it back to the right. Cross, oh, the pass to Scufaletti, look forward. Riolo slips out of a tackle from Goulet. He's brought down 22 metres out from the line. Wishart, Neil, Waddell. They need to go back to the blind side here, get set up. Both the centres for St George are caught on the one side. Neil, he's read that play, folded back towards the blind. Tightsell for Izzard, Izzard for Rodwell, it's forward. The crowd went up, but unnecessarily. Well, I think that was a good call, Craig Izzard's final pass. This was good work from Tightsell, picked up Izzard, gets a desperation pass away. The referee will look at him, he's in perfect position, hard to argue with it. Goulet. Collins, Goldthorpe, running across, puts on a play with Peter Coyne. He slides between Waddell and Tightsell, takes it to the 32. Knocked down by John Cross and St George have come back with six more tackles. Here's a chance for the Dragons now. Already they lead by four points to nil. And we've had nine minutes of the second half as Priddle goes ahead. The pass to Mackay I thought was forward. McCallum disagrees with me. 22 metres out from the Illawarra line. Hardy. Collins looking for which way to go. They pack the blind side. Gula pulled down 12 metres out. St George an opportunity to put Illawarra away right here. Be a long way back for the Steelers if St George score next. Beatty out for Walford. Goes for the corner. Walford pulled down. Put into touch. Yes, an opportunity there for the Saints once again. But what a magnificent pass from Michael Beatty. A beautiful floating pass as he was going to ground. Sensational and Walford. There was more cover there than anything, though. There was about eight of them coming over. Well, two. And they put him into touch. Neil. Simon. Push left is on. Pincinelli. Now, Izzard. Inside ball. McIndoe. Rushes from one. Neil's in the centre of the park. Did he drop it onto his boot? Walsh comes away with the ball. Yeah, a little kick there and six to go. Pincinelli now. Back to the centre of the park. They got a chance out wide. Rodwell gets it away from Wishart. Heron and Wishart. Wishart gets inside him. Loses the footing. 15 out from the line. Rodwell for Neil. Neil to the 10 metre line. Back to blind. Back to blind. There's no centre there. The wing has only just gone from Mark where they've come the open. Waddell. Waddell. Inside ball for David Walsh. Stands and looks to pop the ball. St George have got it, I think. Yes, one of those passes that didn't need to be thrown. It wasn't the last. They didn't have to keep it alive. Just pushed it too much. I said if they had to go back the blind. I thought that was the case. As Craig Izzard leaves the field. He had an impact out there while he was there. It's like he might be carrying a bit of an injury. It's Mackay. Takes a great catch. A slips catch almost in behind him. 
George now looking to get out of trouble once again. Just getting back to that rush of attack, though. I can't believe McIndoe kicking. I thought he had Michael Neal on his inside unmarked. Well, we saw him do that in the game here earlier in the semi-finals, didn't we? When we, we thought that he could have beaten the man on the outside. But that wasn't last tackle either, just then, Ray. And he had a man unmarked on the inside. It seemed a, a bad option to take once again. Collins gets it back. Pretty. Goldthorpe, now Potter. Steve Roach. Every time Illawarra ventured to spread the ball a bit wide, they've made some good breaks. They might uh, do better to take a few up in the centre of the ruck and then decide to shift it. David Riolo. I also think that their inside backs have got to look to be a little bit creative for the two centres out there, McGregor and Rodwell. I think John Simon, you know, again, I've talked all year about runarounds and that, but they're, they're not really doing anything to open something up for them. The skiffer Liddy picks up. Wishart! Wishart! Won the beat! Picks up Neil! Won't have the pace! Reaches the 22 and pulled down! Simon, Schifoletti, Simon again, 12 metres from the line, Schifoletti, open side, McGregor, 8 metres out, 5 tackles gone, will they go to the air, Pincinelli's with the ball, floats it out, oh it's gone over the touchline. That's a little bit of semi-final inexperience coming out in the Steelers now, not working for anything, the ball should, should have gone to, to the air, but instead it went into touch. Neil Walsh, taken by Hardy, stands in the tackle, offloads for Tincinelli. Rushes away now from Mackay, gets into open space. Well, for a bloke with a bad knee, he's not travelling all that badly. Michael Neal pulled down, 30 metres out from the line. The Steelers starting to roll it now. Schifoletti, long ball, Rodwell, there's danger. McIndoe rakes it back. In a touch, St George feed and loose head. Scoreline, 4 0 in favour of St George in the preliminary final. This will be a, a little war of feed. The ball has been real to come off a St George play, so another opportunity for the Steelers. Neil, Simon, McGregor. Now they're in the centre of the park. St George's forward still getting across into position, so they've got to go to the right. Riolo's with it, but there's got uh, Illawarra's got no backs out there apart from Wishart. Neil put Simon through a gap. Simon's ten metres out, right in front of the sticks. Schifoletti, Michael Neil, Neil Pincinelli, short ball for McGregor. McGregor away for Rodwell. Oh, forward. No, it's a forward pass. Another try denied for the Steelers. Well, they've had no luck, the Steelers. That's what their second or third try disallowed. Beautiful pass, that one, to McGregor into the gap. And this pass here has been real forward. I don't know. I don't think it looked too bad, Sterlo. Well, again, you've got to put that in the trust of the referee because he's at the top of the right of screen there and he's in good position. Very hard. We're on a bad angle here. That's Tony Smith, the replacement player, on for Peter Coyne. But, gee, you wouldn't, with the chances Illawarra have got and had, you wouldn't think they'd still be on zero. 22 metres out from the line. Dummy half is uh, Schifoletti. Waddell turns it inside to Walsh. Walsh gets it back inside for Schifoletti. Out to the right for Simon. Wide ball for Pincinelli. Pincinelli comes to Heron. Gives it to Wishart. Oh, tremendous tackle out there by Heron. Now Neil. Simon to the 10 metre line. Schifoletti now from cross. It goes to McGregor. Put down behind Waddell. Picked up by Walsh. 20 metres out from the line. Schifoletti. Bill Dunn. Dunn standing. Lost the ball behind him. Play on, says McCallum. Walsh a dummy half, a horror pass. McGregor, he puts it into the end goal. And Potter is there to clean it up. Back in the field of play, I do point out. The class boots of play there from McGregor to firstly pick the ball up. It went to the wrong man. He got the little kick in on the last. But Michael Potter got through and was able to keep it in the field of play. And that was a magnificent effort. Really think that if there'd have been another set of six, they'd have been doing well to hold on, St George. Good to see Dunn and Pitchnelli really coming into their own now. They're both skillful, hard-running players. And they're getting this Illawarra side going forward. Paul, they've got to score soon, don't they? I, I think if it comes down to the last 10 or 15 or 10 minutes, I think St George can hold on. A lot of juice being burned up by Illawarra out there and they're not getting a result. Goldthorpe. 
looking for the line he won't find it Riolo coming off his own quarterway line gets around Walford well, that, that's really his bad wing play you've got to when you're in a chase situation you've got to keep one person between the player and the sideline and Walford just went into it too quick and too early McIndo to play the ball right on the halfway mark Waddell away for Neil Walsh out wide Pincinelli wider crosses out even wider again the forwards forming the back line cross gives it back to Pincinelli Pincinelli tackled three metres into St George's area Ford Hill in favour of the Saints Illawarra having the better of the second half though St George's defence has been superb Schifoletti Neal turning it back to the right Pincinelli McGregor McGregor gets it to Wishart Wishart's away no support Scooped away to John Simon. Six again, he hasn't seen it. John Simon is given the ball and kicked it. Wayne Collins, or was it Potter? Potter's picked it up, but the referee had signaled six again. John Simon did not realise. Well, Nick Potter, what about Rod Wishart, one-on-one. -on -one. A beautiful tackler was a try-saver. And he's taken the ball out another 15 metres. Hardy working on a wide blind side. Five tackles gone for the Saints. Collins sweeping it away for Goldthorpe he goes for the one point and over the dead ball line it goes so back to the 22 for the restart well I think that's a ridiculous play six and three quarters left nine five the scrums to St George one of them against the head Wishart he's tried his guts out today Wishart well the whole little war team have haven't they Ray they're not out of this game yet as McIndoe takes the ball forward once again now they'll look back on this, this game if they have lost the game they'll look back and think that uh, well gee they were unlucky a couple of well, I think what we've had two or three it's been a game of missed opportunities for them they could they could have put uh, 14 16 points on the board but let's St George have played very well two and one situation down here here's a big run down the ground by Rodwell Pulled down by Goldthorpe. Super duper tackle by Goldthorpe. Let the ball go now. They've got numbers out wide if they can get past Schifoletti. Schifoletti wide for Simon. They've got the numbers on the right. Simon lets it go. It's gone backwards, but has slowed down the attack. Wishart decides to kick and chase. Right across the ground, and Goldthorpe comes up with it. Well, slow down the attack. If the, if the pass from John Simon finds a man on the full, I think that they score. They had four players out there to two, and... It was just a, a bad pass. It had to find somebody on the full. Simon. McGregor. Well, Illawarra need a big run from McGregor and he was giving it to them. 32 metres away from their own line. Simon is the dummy half. They call it blindside, but it goes open. Neil finds Pincinelli. Then he finds Big Billy Dunn. Dunn. Pull down eight metres short of the halfway mark. Three and a half minutes to go. Simon across the face. It's picked up by John Cross and Michael Beattie comes in and makes a smother tackle. Yeah, Beattie special. Great tackle. Craig Gazard. Paul McGregor. Brett Rodwell. Five uh, metres into St George's area. The last minute's coming up here. Three minutes, in fact, to go. Five tackles gone for the Steelers. One try in the game. Simon across the face. Rodwell inside for Izzard. Back for Simon. Simon shows it. Gets away from one. Kicks ahead. Was he pulled down late? I'm watching. Here's a chance for McIndo. McIndo dives. I think he might be going to give it, is he? No, no, no try. Oh, oh, no. Unbelievable. Another missed opportunity. Here's the go. No, it looks well. We can't tell from that angle. There were hands everywhere. John Simon, I thought for a moment he might have been pulled down after he kicked it. No try. And a good decision there made by the in-goal touch stage. They finally got one right. Simon, a kick on the first. The fullback was standing shallow. Heron leads the race for the ball by 10 metres. Riolo comes down the park. Heron around Riolo. Taken just beyond his own 22 metre line. Well, I would have certainly played out the five or six tackles before putting in that. That was desperation stakes. 
I know there was only, there's only a couple of minutes remaining, or under a minute now, but as soon as they put that kick in, that was the end of their chances. All the same Millawarra fans, they can be very happy, very proud of their club this year, into the semi-finals for the, for the first time, advancing to the final, and it's been a great performance by them. 25 seconds to go. Coin put down 32 metres out from his own line. St George marching on to the grand final to meet the Brisbane Broncos. Henjack wrapped up. Now there's five seconds to go. Well, he better get up or it'll cost his side a penalty. Collins puts the ball over the sideline. The siren sounds in the background. And St George, they go to the grand final. Broncos versus Dragons coming up in seven days. Spare a thought for the Steelers, though. A gallant performance in defeat. And what a year it's been for them. And President's Cup St George will play Western Suburbs.